Hello, I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. Join us for tonight's tale about a young man named Kai who realizes the importance of family and friendship through the mischief of a goblin, the faith of his best friend Gerda, and the patience of an unusual teacher, the Snow Queen. Once there was an evil goblin who roamed the universe, cooking up all sorts of pranks and troubles. Nothing pleased him more than to create mischief with his devilish inventions. One day, many years ago, he paused to search for prospective victims on the earth below. It was a fine summer day when the goblin focused his attention on two best friends. Oh, Gerda! Gerda! What? I'm up on the roof. Well, aren't you coming? Here I am! Bet you can't catch me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Try then, catch me, catch me if you can. I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Oh, Gerda, our flowers look so nice today. Except for these here. Well, I think these could use some water. I think you're right. <gasps> What's this? A locket I found for you. Do you like it? It's beautiful. I'll wear it always. Let me help you put it on. You're so good to me, Kai. You're not mean like all the other boys. Oh, I'd never be mean to you, Gerda. You are my best friend. Gerda. Hi. Time for your lessons. You're it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that's enough. Turn to page 36 in your books. Yes, Grandma. Gerda, you may begin this time. In winter... In winter? There is snow. Particles of water vapor frozen in the atmosphere that fall to Earth, blanketing the ground. The snow begins to melt and drip downward. This water then freezes, and icicles are formed. Is that 
how you read about honeybees, Master Cobb. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, madame. It's just hard to think about honeybees in summertime when it's snowing outside. I see. Grandmother, which season do you like best? I like them all. Oh, but winter's so cold. I like summer when the days are longer and you can go swimming. <laughs> well, yes, but in, in winter you can ice skate and eat Christmas cookies. You know, there's more to the changing of the seasons than the games you can play. The sun warms everything in summer, so it can grow for the harvest in autumn. And then winter brings rain and snow to water the ground. Spring is like an alarm clock that wakes everything up to start the business of growing all over again. If there were no seasons, the poor honeybees would have to work all year round. Madame, why do they call snowflakes the white bees? Because years ago, people thought that snow flurries looked like bees swarming. Do the white bees have a queen bee too? Oh my, yes. Yes, indeed. She is the snow queen. What's she like? Well, they say she's very mysterious, beautiful, and cold, like a snowflake. Well, when I see her, I shall catch her and keep her. Oh, no, you won't. That wouldn't be nice. Gerda is right, Kai. The Snow Queen is part of the scheme of things and should not be tampered with. Now, who wants gingerbread? Oh, I do. I do. <laughs> Grandmother, may we go out on the roof? Whatever for, dear. You'll freeze. We want to look for the Snow Queen. Mm. If she's out there, we'll find her. Oh, all right. But you must promise to bundle up and leave your wet shoes at the top of the stairs when you're done. We promise. We promise. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. Mm. Two for me. <laughs> the goblin was in a very merry mood having found the perfect victim for his newest invention, a fiendish mirror which he planned to shatter over Kai and Gerda's rooftop. Queen, well, why would she visit us out of all the millions of people in the world? Well, why not? I think that if you believe in something strong enough, it'll happen one way or another. <sighs> all right, you've convinced me. Let's sit over here and keep watch. Whoever sees her first, yeah. Agreed? Agreed. <sighs> Little did they know the goblin was about to disrupt their lives with a single stroke of his mallet. <laughs> oh, here's where the trouble starts. Fall and sting those human hearts. <laughs> <laughs> and the wicked goblin shattered his mirror into a thousand sparkling slivers which looked very much like snowflakes. Once pierced by the goblin's evil glass, Kai would see only the worst in his friends, and he would stop caring about the people he had once loved. Snowing! Maybe it's her. Maybe the Snow Queen hurt us, Gerda. What strange snow. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Kai, what's wrong? Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I just have something in my eye is all. Maybe I could get you a, a washcloth. Oh, no, just stop playing nurse. Sure. I don't need your help. I don't need anybody's stop help. Are you afraid of a little snow? Come here, then. Have a look at a snowflake under the glass. Come on. You see all those angles? Much prettier than a flower. Snowflakes are perfect. <laughs> if only they wouldn't melt so quickly. Well, I still like roses better. Roses. They're smelly and full of bugs. But they're alive. Besides, Grandmother says that nothing is perfect. That's what makes the world interesting. Well, what does that old lady know? Everything should be perfect. That's what's wrong with the world. I don't understand you, Kai. 
All of a sudden, you don't have one good thing to say about anything. Well, if you don't like me, you can just leave. Maybe we could look for the Snow Queen another day? Gerda, how can you be so stupid? The Snow Queen is just a, a figment of some dreamer's imagination. There is no Snow Queen. Snow is just snow. Frozen water that falls to the ground, that's all. There is no Snow Queen, I tell you. There is no Snow Queen at all! <laughs> As Kai wakened from the fall, his eyes widened in disbelief. A beautiful woman made of glittering ice stood above him. She had come to save Kai from the terrible spell the goblin had cast upon him. Who are you? I am the Snow Queen. Snow Queen? Why do you whisper your prayers? I wasn't whispering my prayers. I was saying eight times eight is 46. I mean, 64. Come with me quickly, Kai. Why, where are you taking me? To a perfect place. But... Come, <laughs> Kai. You have much to learn. in my bare skin and keep close. How come you're so beautiful? You ask the wrong question. I'm so cold, my arms tingle. I think they've gone to sleep. And I must watch my kisses or I shall freeze you to death. Come, clouds, to the palace. Except when my sister visits. She is the lady of summer. And she likes to melt my palace gates for what she calls laugh. Not many humans come here, Kai. Here, what? drink this. It will keep you from feeling the cold. Mm. <clears throat> it worked. I don't feel cold anymore. What was that? Aurora Borealis. You call them the Northern Lights. What are they doing here? They live here. They do? Perfect here. No friends to bother me. I can do as I like. I want to live here too. Snow Queen, you must tell me everything about this place. Oh. If only I weren't so tired. The goblin's glass is deep. There will be many days ahead for discovery. And so Kai fell asleep at the feet of the Snow Queen. In his eyes, she was perfect, and he did not feel at all afraid. She did not now seem to be made of ice, but time was of the essence, 
and the Snow Queen hadn't longed to save Kai from a life without love. Don't cry, Gerda. The whole town's been searching for Kai since dawn. We must have faith. They will find him soon. But I can't help thinking that he's out there somewhere and he needs me. Maybe I'm the only one who can find him. There's nothing more we can do, dear. We just have to wait and hope. I love you, Grandmother. I'll go fix us something to eat. Against her grandmother's wishes, Gerda set out to look for Kai. For deep in her heart, Gerda knew she was the only one who could find her dear friend. As her search led her deeper and deeper into the forest, Gerda worried that she would never find anyone with news of Kai. Sorry. The little fellow just got away from me. Are you talking to me, Mr. Pine Tree? Of course. You don't see anyone else here with a lump on their noggin, do you? Tell me, Mr. Pine. Have you been here all winter long? My dear, a pine tree is an evergreen. Winter, summer, it makes no difference to us. We stand over everything all year round. Well, you must see a great deal then. Young lady, this naughty pine could tell you stories that would make your hair curl. Tell me, Mr. Pine, have you seen or heard of a young boy named Kai? He disappeared in a blizzard and everyone thinks he's dead. My roots say your friend is not dead. They spend all their time underground, you know. They haven't heard of anyone named Kai in the underworld. If he's still alive, then I must find him and bring him home. Why don't you ask the Lady of Summer? The Lady of Summer? Yes. She keeps a magic cottage in the heart of the forest. How can I ever thank you, Mr. Pine? If you see any stray cones, just send them on home. Good luck. Who are you? Now calm down, Cherries. Let the girl talk. My name is Gerda. I'm looking for my friend Kai. He disappeared in a blizzard. My poor thing. Come right on inside and tell me all about it or we'll fix your lemonade. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't. You see, I must find Kai. The pine tree told me you might be able to help me. Of course I'll help you. But you can't just stand out there in the cold now, can you? Come on inside, young. Oh, all right. Is it always summer here? Always. Except when I find frost on my gladiolus. Then I know my sister, old Icicle Eyes, the Snow Queen, is passing through. You and the Snow Queen are sisters? Of course. She's the cold one in the family. I see to it that the flowers bloom, that the birds sing, and that the cherries are sweet every summer. Say hello to my roses. You talk to your flowers? <laughs> I talk to everything, especially roses. I think anything less would be rude, don't you? 
Hello, Rose. I and I grew roses on the roof. Guy liked roses, you say? Oh, yes. They were his favorite flower. <gasps> Look, a kitten! The Lady of Summer quickly kissed away all the roses in her garden so that Gerda would not be reminded of Kai. Although she knew Kai was with her sister, the Snow Queen, she wanted her guest to stay a few days, for the Lady of Summer was a frivolous woman. The forest has made a big mess of your hair. Let me brush it out for you before you leave. Oh, no, thank you. You see, I really don't have... Shh, time. honey. It will only take a minute. Warm here. <laughs> That's what my fuchsias say. What? Fuchsias. See these little bells here? I've always wanted a daughter like you. Like me? Yes. I think I've gotten very lonely here in the forest. All my friends are green. I mean, I have my animals and my birds and my naughty little daisies, but it's not the same thing as a real daughter. Who did you say you were looking for? I don't remember. The Lady of Summer meant no harm when she brushed the memories of Kai from Gerda's mind. She only wanted a child. Oh, that's lovely. May I see it? Certainly. Do you like it? It's beautiful. You can keep it. Thank you. What did you say gave it to you? Why, well, I can't seem to remember. That's silly. Don't worry, dear Gerda. You and I are going to have wonderful times together. Tonight, sleep in hammocks and talk to the stars. Do you know all their names? Sure do. And they all know mine. Gerda was lost in a warm world where there was nothing to do but play. Kai, too, was lost, but in a very different world. The fragments of glass stuck firm in Kai's eye. By now, he had forgotten all about Gerda and was even unaware that his skin had begun to freeze. You have done well, Master Kai. You have a flair for structures. Mm, this one was easy. You see, these supports sustain the exterior walls so they can carry the weight of the roof. You learn quickly. What shall I teach you now? I want to know all about you. Ask. First of all, where do you come from? I come from air and water and cold. Why do you freeze the world? It is my function, my duty to marshal the forces of winter. What is my duty? That is for you to discover. I, I want to be perfect, just like you. Powerful and, and mighty, with the great north wind in my beck and call. Careful, Kai. There is great danger in trying to be something you are not. You are young yet, you may still learn from me. But you must remember that you can never be like me. I am. You are mortal. Now, it is time to survey the polar ice caps. Would you like to watch me capture stray icebergs? Why should I if I'll never have the power to do it myself? Because if you watch closely, you just might learn something about magnetic force. The next day, Gerda picked cherries in the summer lady's garden. She knew every flower, too. However many there were, she thought there was one missing. But which it was, she didn't know. Look what I have. Can we make jam today? Jam it is, sunshine. Let's go fetch some water for boiling. Whoops. I can't go make jam without my hat. Oh, I'll go for it. 
You're making my magic lazy. <laughs> okay, let me put it on you. But the lady had forgotten the rose on her hat when she charmed the others away. Rose. Roses! Kai! Don't, don't look at it! You tricked me. Where are the roses in your garden? You cast a spell on me, didn't you? You made me forget about Kai so I would stay here with you. Gerda, please, what are you doing? I'm leaving. How could I let you blind me with your sunshine and your smiles? Gerda, don't be angry. I only meant to love you. Love me? You mean keep me? I'm not one of your flowers. I am a human being. I'm sorry. When it comes to human beings, I don't have much experience. Well, if you love me, then please help me find Kai. Where is he? He's in the frozen north with my sister, the Snow Queen. Close to freezing himself, I fear. Well, why would the Snow Queen want to hurt Kai? No sister of mine would ever harm a hair on the head of an innocent boy. That goblin's at the bottom of this. You're going to have to hurry, Gerda, if you want to save your friend. Time's flying. Gerda, wait! You've forgotten something. Don't lose it again, child. You're going to need it for luck. I've wasted so much time. Bye, sunshine. The snow-covered forest seemed cold and dreary now, but his locket renewed her strength and urged her deeper into the forest in search of Kai. like you give girls a bad name. Forest is no place for sugar and spice and everything nice. If you run with the wolves like me, you gotta be quick as a cricket and brave as a bear. But I don't want to run with the wolves. I just want to find Kai and go back to the city. Oh, a city girl, huh? Nice shawl. Give it to me. But I'll freeze without it. I hear it's cold down under, too, sweetie pie. Give it to me. Instead of around your neck, I'll take that, too. No. No, not my locket. You can have anything you want, but not my locket. Sentimental value. You're breaking my heart. The locket, I say, or I'll slit your throat. Well, go ahead, then. But you can't have it. My best friend Kai gave this to me. I came all the way out in these woods to try and find him. He's lost or in trouble, I don't know. I must find him somehow. Hey, come on. Don't do that. Crying's no good. You'll only shrink your leathers. 
I don't have any feathers. So you don't. Here, cheer up. Have one of mine. Now we're even. If you can hold up for another hour or so, we can make it to my camp. I've got some pork and brown bread for dinner. But you gotta cross your heart and hope to die and promise not to tell anybody about this. Good, if word gets out I took pity on a city girl, I'll be booted out of the robber's league for sure. You are a robber? Girl's gotta make a living somehow. Well, it sounds to me like this Kai fellow's more trouble than he's really worth. How can you traipse all over looking for a brat of a boy who doesn't have any consideration? Oh, but he does, deep down inside. Besides, what's the point of being best friends if you're only faithful when it's easy? You have a point. Here we are. Don't mind the smell. You'll get used to it. Set the table. I'll fix dinner. out of your food and tell her. I'm a reindeer. Mm. I didn't know reindeer could talk. One thing you have to learn if you want to survive in the wild, Gerda, is everything talks. You just have to learn how to listen. Well, maybe the reindeer could tell me something about Kai. Well, you got a mouth. Ask him. Excuse me, reindeer. I'm looking for a boy named Kai. He disappeared in a snowstorm. A, a black crow told me about a boy who was taken by the Snow Queen to the North Pole. They say he's a very smart fellow. Very smart. Oh, that must be Kai. He's smart as a whip. How do I get to the North Pole? North Pole? Are you crazy? First, you have to get to Finnmark, and that's miles from here, across the tundra. Forget it, Gerda. You'll never make it. I'm from Finnmark. I could find my way there with my eyes closed. With your head in a feed bag, you mean. Reindeer, do you think you could take me there? Hey, wait a minute. He's my reindeer. I stole them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Of course, the final decision is yours. It's more like it. Reindeer, are you sure you know the way? Like the back of my antlers. Settled then. You leave at first light. <sighs> Thank you. Thank sure. you. Come on, let's eat. It's getting late. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Rubber girl? Yeah, kid? Thanks again. Sure. <clears throat> As Gerda slept that night, she dreamt of Kai. Precise to the eighth note. I am pleased. Now, I have a new challenge for you. What is this? A word puzzle for you to solve. When you have unlocked its secret, you will be free to leave my house. But I like it here. I don't want to leave. But Kai, you cannot stay with me forever. You will freeze to death. Then why did you bring me here? When you solve the puzzle, you will know the answer to that question. This won't budge! What is the point of this game? The point is simple. It is a test. And like all tests, it will show you something about yourself. Now hurry up and apply yourself. You do not have much time. How will I know when I have solved it? 
行呢Wake up, sleepyhead, it's dawn. Good morning, girl. I dreamt about Kai last night. Mm -hmm. He was at the feet of a beautiful woman who never smiled. He said he never wanted to leave. He didn't look well. Boys, they go love sick at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. Was he bluish? Yes, he was sort of blue. That beautiful woman was the Snow Queen. Mm. We must fly like the wind. Come on, Gerda. Here, take this. It gets cold at the North Pole. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Keep your eye on the Big Dipper, city girl. Bye. Bye. Hold on tight, Gerda. This storm is a mean one. Do you think the Snow Queen knows we're coming? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm frightened. Don't worry, Gerda. He won't harm you. You have a warm heart. I hope you're right. Besides, I'll be with you. If the going gets rough, just yell. And I'll come running. Thank you, reindeer. But I have a feeling this is something I must do alone. As you wish. As you wish. Look, there's the Snow Palace. You'll soon be with your friend, if you can sneak past the snowflake guards. I'm here to see the Snow Queen. What's the password? Why, well, I'm afraid I don't know the password. Well, then run along, little girl, and don't bother us anymore. But I'm not a little girl, and I must see the Snow Queen. Well, we're big, strong guards, and we can't let you see the Snow Queen without the password. Well, couldn't you give me just a little hint? We no. can't do that. We have our hints. Oh, but I won't tell, I promise. Come on. <laughs> All right, we'll give you a clue, but it's not going to be easy. And if you don't guess the password, we get to feed you to the polar bears. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> All right, listen carefully, it's a riddle. What's like a rose made of shining spears? In the heat of day, it disappears. What's like a Shining spears in the heat of day. Well, what is it? Give up, do you? No, I don't give up. Come on, hurry up. There's a blizzard coming. That's it. It's Snowflake. The password is Snowflake. Go, Go on. Thank you. You're welcome. Go. As Gerda sneaked through the palace halls, Kai concentrated on solving the puzzle the Snow Queen had given him. Time was running short, and Kai was becoming as cold as ice. Have you solved the puzzle yet, Kai? These words make no sense at all. Most of them are still stuck. Can't you loosen them for me? I cannot help you. Where are you going? To the warm countries. I must freeze the volcano tops. I won't be long. Kai. Psst. Kai. It's me, Gerda. 
What are you doing here? I guess the password. It's me, Gerda. Don't you remember your best friend? Don't be silly. I don't need any friends. Well, go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Kai, what's wrong with you? <gasps> You're practically frozen. What has she done to you? Kai, you must come with me this instant. Stop it! Stop it now! You'll give me all wet with your silly kid. Kai, please, please come home. Hurt us? Please come home with me, Kai. Stop it! You don't belong here. Oh, don't please cry! I hate it when you cry. Gerda wept hot tears. They fell on his chest and warmed his cold heart. Then Kai too began to weep. He wept so that the splinter of glass washed out of his eye. Gerda, don't cry. Gerda. You know how it hurts me to see you cry. You're not blue anymore. What's this? Something in my eye, I guess. Now, Kai, listen to me. We're very far from home. You've been with the Snow Queen. What? Huh? No. I remember. I've been frozen to the core for months now, haven't I? When I've been horrible to you. Oh, Gerda, can you forgive me? Of course I can forgive you. I know you'd never be mean to me. <laughs> but now, Kai, we must find a way out of here. Oh, wait. I know a way. Kai, this is no time for games. We must run. Gerda, I know the Snow Queen. You, you can't run from her. You can only reason with her. She said if I solved this puzzle, I'd be free to leave her palace. Look! Gerda, the words have melted. They, they move freely now. Well, let me help you then. It's so cold in here. Hurry, she's coming! This, this doesn't make any sense. The heart be cold and kind friends be hot when love unites in the mind. Oh, maybe it's a rhyme. Remember grandmother's old sayings? Um, cold be hot, and friends be kind. When love unites the heart, the heart and mind. mind. The Snow Queen. Kai, I'm frightened. What will she do to us? Why are you trembling, Gerda? Oh, she fears you, Snow Queen. There is no reason for fear, Kai. You have solved the puzzle. You are free to leave my palace. Oh. <laughs> we did it! You said I may go, but what about Gerda? I can't live without her. She is my best friend. I see your duty is clear to you now. With Gerda's help, you have finally rid yourself of the evil spell of the goblin. You two belong together. You will leave together. Come. <sighs> Goodbye, Gerda. Kai is fortunate indeed to have a friend such as you. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. And farewell, Kai. You have learned your lesson well. Thank you, Snow Queen. So Kai and Gerda left the Snow Queen's palace, wiser for the lessons of their journey. They found the reindeer waiting outside, just as he had promised. Kai realized the Snow Queen had brought him close to death to rescue him from the goblin's spell. She had taught him that through the faith of true friends, good can triumph over evil. And so Kai and Gerda returned home, grown up, yet children at heart. And it was summer, warm, beautiful summer. <laughs> oh, Gerda, look. Ha <laughs> ha!
again. But what of the troublesome goblin who started it all with his evil mirror? The Snow Queen blew an icy wind that sent the goblin and his laboratory flying to the edge of space. The world was safe for a little while. But even a Snow Queen can't stop a goblin for good. So be careful, and keep your friends close to your heart, for without them, no one is safe from the goblin's mischief. 